What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. And in the last Dynasty video, we took on North Texas in the bowl game. It was a pleasant surprise. We was expecting to play like an ACC team. But it didn't happen, and they gave us all we could handle. They had a really good offense. They had an impact running back at 95 overall, if I'm not mistaken. The quarterback only had two incompletions. Their offense was just incredible. Thankfully, our offense was just a tad bit better. It ended up being just a wild, fun game. It was frustrating. Offensively, it was fun. Defensively, not so much. But we was able to come out with the victory, and we finished the season 10-3. and three. That gives us a little extra points to play with in the offseason, which is what we're doing today. Recruiting time. Most fun part of the year. I can't wait to get into it. Now, before we get into the offseason, we are currently a three-star program. We should move up to a four-star um, I won't, I'm going to go after four stars across the board. I'll go after five stars in my home state, but we'll just see how that plays out. If there's a week two five-star kid that just kind of wants to be interested in us, I may do something there, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. We could get lucky right here and get invited to the Pac-10, so let's talk about that for a minute. Let's go to Sports Illustrated and Conference Standings, and let's go to the Pac-10. Now, I've said this plenty of times in the past. In order to get invited to a bigger conference, you kind of need the team that you were going to replace to be awful. I mean, just absolutely awful. And if you look at the records here, nobody had a, like a just a true terrible season. Several guys were 4-7. and seven. You look at the program prestige for Washington State, they're just a three-star. They'll go down probably one. Washington, and I think they are a three-star as well. Let's see, just to confirm, and they are. And then Oregon, they're a five-star program, so I doubt anything will happen in terms of getting invited to a bigger conference, unless it wouldn't make a lick of sense for this to happen, but I've seen Stranger Things. No pun intended, that's a good show. Uh, if you go to the Big 12, this is like maybe the other option, but I just can't imagine them ever uh, wanting to pick us up. But we got... Kansas is awful. You may have a chance sneaking in there. They're two-star program, and so is Baylor. Both of them had awful years. Again, we don't know if that's going to happen or not. Before we get to the offseason and find that out, let's go to our roster and look at some things. I'd rather look at the roster now before we head into uh, the offseason because it's just a, it's a better way for me to keep notes and such. So if you look at our total number of players, we got 69 guys. We're losing 12. That gets it down to 57. We got three commitments, which gets it back up to 60. Technically, I only need about 10 players in the offseason. However, we may come across a player or two that probably needs to be recruited over. I don't normally like to do that. But if you find a couple good recruits that want to come to your school, then you need to pick them up. Uh, so we'll see how all that goes. So having said all that, let's go through each position real quick, and I'll just tell you my notes. Right now, we got a lot of young quarterbacks on the roster. I mean, Gronk is just a sophomore. Rolovich is a junior. Everybody is coming back. I put in my notes, one if a, has a great arm. If we come across a guy that's got just a killer arm or just a good quarterback in general, by all means, we'll have him come. But I guarantee you, I can. I shouldn't say that. I'm almost positive we're not going to see any quarterbacks interested in us just because the quarterback room is already filled up. But we'll see. We could get lucky there. Halfback is a big need for us. I have listed as two. We need speed and catch. If we do not get that, I may just move Washington over or just leave it as is. It worked just fine using formation subs to get him in the halfback positions. I don't mind doing uh, some of that if need be because I'll lose all his true talent on, at wide receiver if I do that. So I'm hoping I pick up at least a couple of halfbacks. That kind of fit what we want to do. I'd love to get the thicker backs, like these guys right here, that could just run down the field and whatnot, but I don't think our offensive line is good enough to handle all that uh, because I'm not even running a whole lot of run to shoot the last season or two because the offensive line has been struggling. And we'll talk about the offensive line here in a minute. Fullback, we don't have to worry about that. Wide receiver, we got a ton of guys coming back, seven technically, but Ferguson is a junior. It wouldn't shock me if he decides to go pro. I'm not going to waste a lot of points on him trying to convince him if he wants to go pro. We'll see what happens there. But I got listed one to two. We'll just see how that goes. We may not have anybody interested here either because, again, we got a lot of guys here at wide receiver coming back. Uh, six at least. Uh, tight end, 
We don't have to worry about this either. Uh, we got a sophomore and a freshman. The only time we use them is on goal line situations. Unless one of them transfers, we don't have to recruit anybody there. Here's where we need the help in the worst way. Offensive line. Our two best guys at tackle are gone. You would think 88 and 84 was good enough to do deeper stuff. I'm talking about true run and shoot stuff. Switch, you know, double move type things. We just, I couldn't do a lot of that this year because I just didn't think they could block long enough for us to run those types of plays. One day, hopefully, we'll see how that goes. But until then, those two guys are gone and our backups are not very good. So I got a two listed for tackles. Now, we already got one committed. I wouldn't mind getting a couple more to redshirt at least one of those guys. We'll see how that goes. Uh, guard, I got the same thing. I'd like to have a couple here. Our two starters are seniors. Once they're gone, it's a big drop-off of talent after that. So offensive line's going to be struggling next year. So I have just my personal opinion. I think we're going to have a worse year next year because of this offensive line, unless I can work around it somehow. Center, we don't have good talent here. I want a better center of some sort. So I have a down at least listed of one. I wouldn't mind having a couple if needed. We, we're still sticking with a 3-4. I'd like to convert that over, you know, the majority of the time. Every now and then, you still have to go down with a four-down group if you're going up against a real big set, uh, like a 4-4, four, four, that type of thing. But until then, we got a couple guys leaving, but we got a bunch of freshmen as well. The, our biggest problem at defensive end is we need to switch to much bigger guys. And we don't have big guys whatsoever. This guy's leaving. This guy's great, but he's leaving. He fits the mold. This guy's too small and too slow. I need to move him over. That's a probably good idea. Let's just move defensive end. Ingram to linebacker. And just put him so He's just wasting his time by playing defensive end for us. Um, if he was faster, that'd be better, but he's not. Uh, Lionel Foster is a, getting close to that. We picked him up in the last offseason. Same with Joel White. Need to get bigger guys. Now, we did pick up the one grievous kid, the defensive end out of Arizona, if I'm not mistaken. That helps. So, according to my list, I have one to two if they fit what we need. If they fit, that's the key. Same with defensive tackle. We got a bunch of upperclassmen. We're going to be fine here next year, but we need to get ready for two seasons from now. So, I have listed as two defensive tackles, possibly. One to two. I'll go one to two because we picked up one in the uh, regular season. You don't need many here, but if I want to do D, uh, three, four, 90 percent of the time, I'd still like to have four or five because we still need to go with a four down line every once in a while against bigger sets and such. Linebacker, outside linebacker, we're kind of okay here. We got everybody essentially coming back. Our two starters have been are both juniors. With this guy right here, who can probably start as well, but you look at Allen Jones, he's just got much bigger, much better speed. So I actually need to write down outside linebacker for speed because as much quarters as I run and such. I wouldn't mind getting one to two here. Let's just put that down. One to two. Uh, middle linebacker, we're okay. Kind of, sort of. Again, I want to run the three, four. You kind of need some bodies there. I'd like to have five guys at all times. And everybody's coming back. They're just really young. So if I come across a really good one, hey, I'm going to try to sign them. But otherwise, I'm not overly worried about this position because our two best guys are freshmen. Corner. I have one listed. Uh, we'll still run nickel whenever they go four and five wide. It just makes sense to get more speed out there. But we got most of them coming back. Our starter is gone. Our number one guy is gone. But we got a couple guys coming back. We're kind of okay there. We're just really young at that position. But I got listed one if good, if it fits what we need. We don't need anybody at free safety. We are loaded here. We're in perfect position. We got a freshman. We got a sophomore. We got a junior. We are in great position. A strong safety. Two freshmen. A junior. We're fine on the back end. Kicker. We're losing a guy, but we could bring it back an impact backup, which just makes no sense. But that's a good problem to have a kicker. We're good there, but we do need a punter. So we're going to try to pick up one in the off season. And that is it. So we'll see how that goes. Now, what we can do is. Go ahead and sim the rest of the season. I haven't done that yet. Uh, we want to simulate all the bowls. We're going to hurry this up. And we could get very lucky and somebody may invite us to a bigger conference. I don't think that's going to happen. We already looked at the records, but I could be wrong. 
Looks like somebody wants to offer me a head coaching position at Texas and Florida State. I'm declining both of them. I don't, I'm not even going to look at them. And looks like nobody uh, wants us. So we are now a four-star program. And if we ever become a five-star next year, if we go up again and I don't get invi invited, we'll see what happens with the dynasty. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. Off-season schedule. Let's go to school budgets. And one thing I could have done... I didn't think about that. Let's go to our roster. Um, I didn't even look at depth chart. Let me look at the depth chart. Let's see. We're losing one. Uh, two, three, four, five. We're losing four of the five offensive linemen. So we're losing about five guys on offense. Uh, one. Kind of two. And three, so we're losing only three. So we're losing less than half. So we don't need as many recruiting points. We already got 10 wins that help us on that regard. So when we go back to school budgets, our discipline is in a good spot. It's low enough. I'd like to get it down the next to nothing, but I'm okay putting this at 20. And I'm going to split this up. I don't mind doing that because we got a bunch of guys coming back. So we're going to go 40, 40, 20. We're going to see if anybody was going to go pro early. I fully expect Ferguson to go pro. And I, again, I'm not going to waste a ton of points on trying to convince him to come back. If he does, I mean, that's great. If not, he can go and do his thing. Whatever he feels like he needs to do. I probably should have. Let's just go ahead and speed this up. I didn't think about doing that. Okay, looks like nobody is wanting to go pro. Not even Ferguson. That's a good day. Awesome. So we can go ahead and... Get that one going. There we go. Uh, we want to continue to recruiting. I want to speed that up. And then we're going to get to the fun stuff. This, I mean, recruiting just never gets old in these games. I don't care who you are. Some people don't like to recruit, which is fine, you know. But it's just, especially the off-season. The in-season recruiting is okay. It's, it's great. But it's the off-season recruiting. It's what we all really enjoy. And I guess I could have moved this, speed this up as well. I didn't even think about that. Oh, well, I was doing that. My bad. Let's removing players, all that good stuff. And okay, in terms of pipeline, we still got California as a pipeline. I'm trying to turn Arizona into one. And it looks like we got current players three from there. We got three from Washington. That'd be a good one to have. But what about Oregon? But Oregon doesn't produce a lot, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, we need to go back to Hawaii. I want to, first of all, we've already looked at our returning players. We know what we got there. Let's go to Hawaii prospects. I'm just curious. For whatever reason, in-state guys just don't want to stick around. Like this 6'5", 175-pound wide receiver, I would love to have. <laughs> Who wouldn't? The guy looks like a monster. But for whatever reason, he's not interested. Same with this athlete. This guy looks like a... He's a quarterback. Imagine having this kid on your team. He may be a week two kid. Same with this guy right here. But I'm just curious to see how the rest of the state looked. We got a bunch... Of, you know, we got a few guys here, but a lot of them are one stars, you can tell. I was just wanting to see how the in-state guys looked. So let's go to interested prospects and go from there. So this is interesting. Not one four-star is interested. A bunch of three-star kids. I think a lot of that just has to do with... Being in the WAC, not many high-profile kids want to play in the WAC, and I don't blame them, to be honest. But we'll start, to, looks like we got a bunch of tackles that are interested. Looks like we got an athlete at, at a California, Jim Fritz, 6'5", 161, with great hands. He's probably a wide receiver. We definitely want to scout him. Let me look at how many points. We only got 176 points to scout. I do want to scout him. Runs a 4'3", That's even better. His hands are not as good, but... Either way, I'd take that kid in a heartbeat, but we'll just scan him for now. The one-star kid out of Alaska, I've never had luck with one-star athletes. Two-star, yes. One-star, not so much. So I'm going to skip him. Let's look at a couple of these quarterbacks. we got a bunch of West Coast kids. Kurt Blair out of California. He looks awful. He's got a decent arm. He can throw it over the top a little bit, but his accuracy is bad, and he's slow. We're not going to go after him. We can check out Tyler Palmer out of Idaho. 
just a bad arm, just not good enough. We need accuracy and the deep ball. We just need a good arm in general. Chris Green, two-star kid, just not, yeah, it's not good enough out of Montana. And here's a Juco kid. I, the accuracy looks, no, he's even worse. I'm glad I scattered him. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to recruit this kid. Then we got a bunch of one-stars that, you know, like here's a high, you know, in-state kid. I'm not going to bother. It's just not going to work. I mean, all these guys are going to have bad arms. So we're not going to waste any points on those. So it looks like we're not going to get any quarterbacks just go around unless something happens in week two. Halfback. This is what worries me. No halfbacks are interested. I guess the quarterback room is too full. On top of, we don't run the ball a lot. It's a combination of the two. And here's a one-star kid. Unless he ran a 3-2-40, it's not going to work. And I guarantee you, he, his hands are still roughly bad, 40 time. I'm not going to waste my time. He's a one-star. It's just not worth it. So let's keep going. That means we're maybe moving somebody to halfback. Maybe. We'll just see how that goes. I may just leave it as is. I have Washington do sub-package type stuff. Wide receiver. We got a couple guys here, four-star California kids, all four of them. I'm just looking at their height right now. Like this kid, 6'4", 6'4", 5'11". Let's just scout all four and just see what we're dealing with. And then we'll go back up to the first one and look at him. I don't mind going after a four-star if they fit. I, I didn't scout that guy for whatever reason. Okay, I think I wasted points on that one-star. Here's a kid, 6'4", 200-pounder. 437 B plus. That's about worth going after him. 64180 runs a 424 with B hands. That's B is as low as I'll go on the hands route, but that's you can't teach speed. That's just incredible. 437, 6419, just B hands as well. I'm not gonna put any scholarships on him yet, but we'll just see how all that goes. Uh tight end, we don't have to worry about. Tackle. We need some help here. Scott Lynch, local kid, 6'10", 353 pounds. An absolute monster, and I want this kid. 695 on the squat. Just, I have to have him. His awareness is good enough, even though he's going to do a lot of pass protection. I'm going to go ahead and put a scholarship on him. We'll do program prestige, just get that out of the way. We got to get this kid. I've never seen a, an offensive lineman that big before. Ever. Ever. That's awesome. Okay, got to keep going. Uh, Bo McCray, that's a great name. 6'7", 300 out of California. Let's just scout him. Any of these three stars, I'm going to wait. Because we're, we're already at 100 points. Let's just wait. Let's do these three stars for now. Bo McCray, just looking 465, 670. This guy's a monster. An absolute monster. This guy's got A-plus awareness. He'd be perfect for our offense. He should be a decent pass protector, but... Looks like he's dead set on going to Oregon State, but we have a chance there, possibly. Nate Harris, another monster kid, local kid. A awareness, I want this kid. He's local. He's big. Every bit of that, so I don't mind going ahead and putting a scholarship on him either. And we'll leave it there. Guard? Um, you know what's interesting about guard? I almost would prefer maulers here instead of pass protectors. Normally, we don't get a whole lot of pressure on the A and B gaps. It's usually the defensive ends that gets get to us quicker. And if I, I still want to run the ball. I still love running halfback dive, going between the gaps and such. So we need bigger guys here. So I think I've changed my tune a little bit on the guard front. We got a bunch of two stars. Uh, let's go after guys who are at least got the size for what we're wanting. For example, this kid, 6'3", 224. 6'3", 298, 293. And then we're getting down to the two or the one stars. Another kid out of California, 435.85. This kid, I wouldn't mind having. And he's got A-plus awareness. I'm going to go ahead and put a scholarship on him. I don't mind that. These other guys, that's too small. We're going to wait. Uh, let's just wait. I don't want a Juco. 288. I, let's just wait on the rest of these. I'm okay with at least putting on this guy right here, Brandon Bennett. Center, we're going to scout both of these two guys. I just need somebody with A-plus awareness, and this guy is not going to be it. This guy can't be A-minus. That's good enough, and it looks like we're kind of neck and neck with the rest of these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put a scholarship on him. He's huge, too. 341 pounds. Let's just do the program prestige and get that one out of the way. Two-star, he's probably a location type of guy, but uh, defensive end. How many points we got left? We got 80. We're about to run out. Uh we got to find humongous, like this kid right here. 
Brandon Higgins out of Arizona, a state I want to make a pipeline. He's a JUCO, but he really fits what we want to do. I probably just don't even waste my time. He's really slow, but that's okay. Just looking at the rest of these. Here's a 6'2", another JUCO, though. I'm not going to go. He's a local kid, but he's one star. We're not going to do that. Uh, three, 6'3", 264, I would about do it. But I like this kid instead, so I don't mind putting one on him. I'm not a big fan of getting at JUCO kids, but not every day you find a defensive end that huge. Uh, defensive tackle, I said I wanted a 1-2 to because we're getting pretty low on those guys after next year. And I'm seeing a bunch of really small guys. Like, here's a 6'3", 298 out of Utah, but I'm not going to bother. So I'm not going to waste my time on any of them. This guy's too small. I wish these guys could move over the defensive end, but I, I've never had luck moving a defensive tackle to the end. So I'm not going to waste my time on them. And it looks like he really wants to go to Cal. So let's just go on. That's not a huge need for us right now. Next year, more or less, or the year after, it will be. Outside linebacker, I want somebody with some speed that can really move and... 4-6, that's not bad. His awareness isn't the best in the world. I'm trying to be careful with my points. 4-6, uh, we can try. This guy's really small. 6-2-196. I mean, that's just little. Uh, offensive or outside linebacker is not the biggest need either. 4-7-1, just a lot of these small guys. When you get down to the one star, that's just what's going to happen. Let me just go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and scout. I'm not going to go after this guy. He's too slow and he's old. Uh, we'll scout this guy's well. Four six five. That's kind of doable. I I may be better off getting this guy. This guy's too small. Three four. I need outside linebackers who are big as well. So we may just go to the middle linebacker route, which looks like nobody's interested in us. We got a two star kid. I can scout him. Looks pretty good. Four five six. Two hundred forty five pounds. And what we may do is load up on middle linebackers and move them to outside linebacker in time. This kid, I actually like a whole lot. I kind of like every bit of what I see right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a scholarship on him. He could be a future inside or outside linebacker. So let's just go ahead and do that. Corner, I got one if really good. I need to find the perfect corner I'm going to go after this guy. For example, Adrian McCaleb, 6'3", 178, but he's a Juco. I'm not going to bother. Six feet, six feet. Here's a six one guy. I'm looking for just absolute tall guys, and I don't see anybody here except here's a two star kid. Four three nine. That's not the fastest I could I would like to have better. Six feet. Here's a six two guy. Four three nine. Just none of that looks all that attractive to me. So we may skip out on corners this year unless something happens in week two. Let's keep going to free safety. We don't need it. We don't need anything in strong safety. Nobody a kicker, but we do have a couple punters here that are interested. We need to scout every one of these. I see one guy that looked really good. This guy's okay. I want this guy more than the rest out of Colorado. And we're at the top of his list, so that may be a gift for us. Justin Pace. Let's go ahead and just put the scholarship on him for now. So we're dead set with that. Uh, we got eight points left, so let's go and scout back to guard. I think guard, we got a little iffy there. We was just a little antsy on a couple of these guys. For example, let me scout this kid out of California. Not very strong. Let's scout this two-star kid. Oh, and I'm out of points. I got, I'm got i down to two points. Since we're down to two points, let's go back to current targets. And let's just put points on that guy. And I don't think I'll be able to use that one point anywhere else. We can try it, though. And looks like we're not. So that's okay. So we're going to go back out here. We've used up all of our points except for one. We're going to advance to the next week. Do you want CPU recruit for Hawaii? We, we, we do not. And we will speed this up. And we'll go into week two. And then we'll do our week two players and such. That's where it gets pretty interesting. We may find a diamond in the rough somewhere. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Like we picked up that big Oliver, the strong safety. He was the five star who just couldn't, didn't want to go anywhere but here, I guess. But this is where we'll find a, a few four stars interested in us. Nobody committed. That's expected week one. All right, let's go back to current targets. 
and let's start at the very top and see what we got, we're dealing with. Scott Lynch, big tackle. We got to get this kid. We got to have him. He's going to be the pride of the class just because he is bigger than Andre the Giant. I mean, just a monster. Good stop there. He liked the program prestige, too. Program prestige. That's good. We are a four-star program. That's going to be great. So we got two bookend tackles. If we can get these two guys to commit, Katie bar the door. Awesome. This guy did just in pace. He didn't like that, but we are at the top of the list still. Let's try playing time, possibly. His uh, teams are all over the place. Utah State, Eastern Michigan, Air Force, Tulsa. You know, Air Force is in Colorado. I'm going to still do playing time just because we need somebody there. Here's the JUCO defensive end I wouldn't mind having. He didn't like what he saw. Let's see. Colorado State, Arizona State, Oklahoma, Nevada. Uh, we'll, let's do coach prestige. We, are, we should be a four-star coach by now. Let's try that. So we'll go through the prestigious first, and then we'll move on to other ones. Especially when we get down to two-star kids, where it may be location and such. This center, we just don't know what he likes yet. Stanford, Utah State, Oregon, Cal, that may be a location situation. So we're going to try that. Guard, we don't know what he likes either. UCLA, Missouri, Michigan, Kansas is a little bit all over the place. Let's do coach prestige on that one. We'll do the minimum for now. Um, middle linebacker, Lonnie Scott. I wouldn't mind having him, and there you go. He likes our program prestige, so we'll stick with that. And that is it. Do we have anybody? Looks like nobody committed elsewhere. So we're in great shape so far. So let's go to all prospects. And look at this. Here's a five-star punter. Interesting in coming. That kid out of California, we may go after him. We'll see how that goes. Uh... One thing, and I want to go back to interested prospects real quick. Let's go, this two-star athlete, we're going to put one on him. I completely forgot to, I, I didn't have to put a scholarship on him on the first go-round. Uh, let's do location for him. I want to put a scholarship on him. That's the only one I was kind of leery on. Uh, so let's go back to all prospects. Let's start off with athlete, and let's just go down. I won't go farther than... Probably three-star here, maybe. We'll just see. This should all be pretty random. Here's a... Well, we're going after him. Here's a two-star kid out of Colorado. I wouldn't mind stealing one out of their home state, because, as you know, us and Colorado have officially become a rival. They don't even know it yet. Uh, due to they're taking all of our commitments in the regular season. Let's go ahead and scout this kid. Hands A-, minus, runs a 4-6. He may be a running back of some sort. Uh, Jonathan Hicks, let's just go ahead and write him down. Uh, Jay Hicks, athlete. And he may go ahead and put us in his top five in the week three. Here's another two-star kid. Always take chances two-starring up on the athletes. You just never know. Uh, kid runs a 4-3-9. He's got awful hands. He's probably a cornerback or a safety of some sort. I'll go ahead and put his name down at least. I mean, I got 108 points. I need to be careful. Uh, Parker, another athlete. There's going to be a ton of two-star athletes, I'm afraid. Yeah, just an absolute ton of them. Like, here's one other guy out of California, Robert Benson. 6'4", 231 pounds. Just a big kid. That looks okay, but I'll put his name down. But I'm going to stop right there just because we got other fish to fry in other locations. So let's just go ahead to quarterback. I'm going to go three-star and above because I'm about to run out of points. I'm already at 100. And we don't need a ton of commitments this go-round. Here's the three-star kid, Kurt Blair, that just didn't have a good enough arm. Here's a three-star kid. Here, here's a possibility. Jared Fuller. Let's look at his stuff. Boom! This is why you do week two recruiting like I do. For that guy right there, he's a future starter. We're going to put a, uh, we're going to at least scout. We've already scouted him. Uh, I wonder if I can go ahead and put a scholarship on him. I'm not going to waste, I'll put a scholarship on him if he puts us in his top five. If he does, then I'm not going to waste my time. That's just a waste of scholarship. So we're going to wait, pray, cross your fingers. Hopefully he puts us in his top five. 
next week. Let's keep going. And we're down to two stars. We're going to quit on that one. Let's do three stars for this one. I'd love to find somebody interested. We just don't run the ball enough, so that's why the NC's recruiting was so crucial for us to get a halfback, but we couldn't find one. Every one of them wanted to go somewhere else. It just it is what it is. That's recruiting sometimes. And that is it for fullback, uh, halfback. We don't have a real fullback. Let's go wide receiver. I'll go three-star here. Here's a four-star kid. This is Scott Gonzalez, the local kid. I told you he he's the top player in the state. We're definitely going to scout him, and I guarantee you he'll put us in his top five. I can just smell it. So let's write his name down, Scott Gonzo, Big Gonzo, monster kid. A-plus hands, perfect wide receiver, absolute perfect. Okay, let's keep going. There may be a three-star interested, or at least upset. Here's a couple. Uh... Kid out of California, Randall Hall. We'll scout him. A plus hands. This four three three. Yes, please. So it is Randall Hall, wide receiver, and this kid below him. Kid, out, it looks like he's really want to go to Oregon State. I may be wasting my time on him. Four five six. We can scout. That's still pretty good. I'm not. I think he's destined to go to Oregon State. You look at that bar. So we can just leave that one alone. I was just curious to see if anything would have jumped after scouting, and it didn't. Tight end, we don't have to worry. Tackle, I'm, I'm here to tell you, if we get those two tackles, who? Katie, bar the door. I'm here to tell you, I'm excited about those two guys. We just got to get them to commit. Uh, I'll go three-star at the most. That's it. Unless we got to do something crazy week four or five. We've already gone after him. All right, let's go guard. Keep going. Let's see. Here's a three-star kid. 6'4", 280 out of Washington. Really strong. His squat is 7'15". I'm going to go ahead and put his name down. Mark Silva. That is run blocking. Relates to squat. So we need a guy like that. He's not the biggest. I wish he was a little bit bigger, but that's okay. We'll definitely take his squat numbers. Here's another three-star kid out of California. This guy's a little bit bigger. We'll go ahead and put his name down, Lamont Kemp, and see what happens there. We're down to 69 points. I think we're okay. We'll see. That's why I'm just doing three stars the rest of the way. Center, I would like to find at least one guy. Here's a three-star kid, 6'9", 6'9", 3'11". That's not even at normal. Yeah, seven, 700 squat for a center is pretty incredible. Joe Jones. We'll definitely put his name down. Could get lucky there. The top three-star center in the country. Here's another one. Uh, 6'2", 297, but I'm not going to put his name down. It's a C-plus on the awareness. I need to go back. Ah, let me just let me finish up the three-stars real quick. I didn't think about... Let's look up Joe Jones again. I forgot to look at his awareness. It's an A minus. That's good enough. Okay, just making sure. All right, defensive end. If we can somebody that fits the mold, we'll definitely take a chance on him. But I won't go any farther than three star. Here's a three star kid, 6'6, 228. I'm sorry, that's just not good enough. Defensive end to outside linebackers doable. But I'm not going to scout this key. I mean, we can go ahead and do it. 465B. He actually looks like a defense, uh, li outside linebacker. We've already done that once. Well, let me go and put his name down. I think he's a future outside linebacker for us. That's a good pickup right there. Because we've got to remember, we moved Allen Jones, the outside linebacker, and he done okay. So it's doable. At least. But I want to get an actual big-time defensive end. Like, this guy's kind of decent size, but he's a two-star. And we're okay at defensive end for now. Defensive tackle, I mean, we can check this. I wouldn't mind getting one guy, but we already picked up one in the regular season, but I just still want to check. 6'2", 294, I'm just, just not big enough. I need much bigger guys. I don't see anybody there. Outside linebacker, I'd like to get somebody here. That would be great. Here's a three-star kid, 6'2", 224. 
Runs a four four one. Wow. Dang, please put me in your top five. I beg you. Tyler LaFew. That's a great name. Oh my gosh, look at that kid. His size is okay, but a four four one? I'd, that's super fast for an outside linebacker. I mean, just a blazer. Omar Clemens, that's a good name as well. He's a Juco, though. Uh, I'm not going to bother. We don't need outside linebackers that badly. Here's another one. Uh, Julius Hall. 443. Let's put his name down. J uh, yeah, Julius Hall. OLB. I won't, okay, right down to the two-star middle linebacker. We'll do the same thing for the rest of the positions. Just go to three-star and see. Here's a four-star middle linebacker out of California. Looks like he's somewhat interested. Runs a 4-5-2 A-plus awareness. Yes, on every bit of that. So we're going to go uh, M. Holly. He is a middle linebacker. Let's keep going. He may be the one four-star we may end up getting at, at the end of all this. Besides the couple guys we picked up in the regular season. We'll keep going. Here's another three-star kid. Travis Tolbert. 4-6-5-A. That's, that's not bad. That's good enough. He's probably better off as a middle linebacker. I don't need as much speed a middle linebacker. Outside linebacker, I kind of need it. Uh, so we can go ahead and put his name down. T. Tolbert. MLB. We should be getting close to the two stars. Then we can move on. I got, I'm got. i writing down a bunch of players here. Absolute bunch. Let's look at corner. You got to fit perfectly or I'm not going to recruit you. I need speed and height here. And looks like nobody's interested to begin with. Which isn't a big deal. We don't need a whole lot of help there anyways. But you just never know. Free safety, no. Strong safety. Kicker. Hey, let's check out the kickers just in case. You may have to convert one to punter. And it looks like we don't have to... You know, like, here's a two-star kid. How many points? We got 33 points. We got plenty left. B+, plus. let's go ahead and put his name down just in case. One of those punters has a pan out. A Darius Duckett. And what, if we can't find one, they'll give us a walk-on. Which is okay. But I have a good feeling we're going to pick up at least one of those guys. So, like, here's this five-star kid. Devin Jackson, this is the perfect punter. 6'6", 213 pounds, A-plus power. Too bad he just plays punter. But we'll definitely put his name down, Devin Jackson. He's a five-star. I really don't care about that. When it comes to punters, they just kind of come and go wherever. Uh, here's a three-star kid out of California, Warren Young. Yes, good enough leg. We'll put his name down. W. Young. As long as we get one of these, I don't need two or three. Just need one. And I'll leave it there. And that is it for that. So now let's just go back to... Uh, let's go back to industry prospects real quick. Let me just see if I'm missing anything. We scattered that kid, and that was good. He's Yeah, he's going to Oregon State. Uh, don't have to worry about that kid. Too small. I'm just making sure I didn't forget somebody like Matt Brown. This kid is probably worth going after. B plus hands. He's big. I, that's four three seven. I don't mind putting a scholarship on him. Let's do coach prestige for now. A uh, couple of these tackles. No. Uh, this couple of these corners. Six two one eighty five. I forgot, but this kid right here. We'll scan him just in case. We're down to just a few points. Do I want to put a scholarship in one of these corners? Either Joe Meade, 6'2", 195, is C-, that's not good. Uh, we're going to leave it at that. We got seven points left. Let's go back to current targets. And let's max it on somebody. We maxed him out. We did have somebody else that was ready to... He liked one of our pitches. We can't add more to him. Let me just keep going here. And that's it. So let me go back up to the top just to make sure. We don't have many on this list yet. We can do four points for this. Oh, I'm going to wait. We're going to put on somebody else that's not a Juco. Let's do this wide receiver, I guess. We'll do points here. And I may not be able to use those other three points. 
I could probably put it on somebody. I mean, I just don't think I can. I'd have to move some points around just to squeeze those three points. I don't think it's worth it. So I think we're okay there. So, all right, we're done with week two. We do not want them to recruit force. Cross your fingers. I'd like to get a couple of those commitments one from both of those tackles. That would be incredible. There's a very good chance both of them will start. Very good chance. Unless somebody in the offseason does real good with training. That uh, The two guys that are coming back. Cross your fingers and nobody committed. All right, we'll try it again. Let's go back to current targets. We got to get this key. Oh, no, he went elsewhere. Dang it, went to Cal. Dang it, I wanted that kid so badly. I, could, I mean, I can only put so many points on him, and I maxed it out. So he's gone. Oh, here's a wide receiver. That's not the biggest ordeal. Ah, dang it. Looks like we go, got to go back and get another tackle. Nate Harris. We're going to do max points for him. Playing time for this kid. We'll do 16 for now. This is the two-star punter. And uh, Juco kid. He's two-star. Let's just do location. That tends to go okay. Location for this kid, uh, the athlete, that was a good save at the very end. Here's a middle linebacker. Looks like he's just waiting for something to happen. Same with this kid. At least we got some guys that are liking some of our pitches. Uh, another two-star kid. Let's do location for him. Okay. We got to go back and get another tackle. Uh, let's go... Uh, so there he is. There's that five-star punter that wants to come here. You can already tell. We may end up getting this kid right here, Bo McCray. But let's just keep going. Uh, athlete. I have listed Parker and Vincent. Here is Parker, and here is Vincent. Now, how many scholarships? I got, I got 15 scholarships available. We may have a hard time getting that kid. We may have a better chance of getting this kid. I just don't know what he's good at. It's just a chance you take. Uh, oh, Hicks is another one. We may have a chance on this kid. A minus. Uh, let's go ahead and put a scholarship on him. We'll just do coach prestige for now. The other two, I, Washington and Washington State are way ahead. I just don't know. But they, we did move up. 4-3-9. I just don't know what this kid can do. Neither this kid as well. Looks like they're both defensive players. Unless one of them can run the ball. 570, 470. Uh, I just, let's just wait. I can come back to them later. Quarterback, I did have Fuller. This three-star kid, Jared Fuller. This is the kid that's got the killer arm. We are putting a scholarship on him. For sure. Let's just go coach prestige for now. Let's keep going. Uh, halfback, here's a one-star kid that we didn't even... It's just not going to work. Uh, I can't do it. Uh, wide receiver, uh, Gonzalez. He didn't put me on his list. We'll still... We may have a chance with him, though. We'll see what happens. That Gonzo kid, you remember? The local kid? He didn't put me in his top five. He may do that week three, though. That's still a possibility. The other one was Hall. This kid right here, three-star. Four-three-three, every bit of that. Yes, we'll put a scholarship on him. Let's keep going. Tackle, we're going to have to put one of Bo McCray until he commits to Oregon State. I don't know what else to do, but we're going to have to go get somebody else. We already got one committed at Tackle. I just wouldn't mind finding somebody else to do, you know. Some of these other guys just aren't big enough, except for this kid right here. Uh, let's go ahead and put a scholarship on him for now. Let's do location for him. Just as a backup. We need bodies here. Guard, I have listed Silva and Kemp. Here is Kemp. Let's look at him. 64305, that's... We need bodies here, so I don't mind putting one on him. Uh, center. We got Jones. He is not on there, but here's a three-star kid. I couldn't go after him because we need somebody with really good awareness. This guy doesn't have good awareness either. All right, defensive end. I didn't have anybody listed here. Oh, Butler. I put his state down, not his position. Uh, 6'6", 228. This is the kid that may go to outside linebacker here in a couple years. So I don't mind putting a scholarship on him. I'm down to eight scholarships. I got plenty left. Defensive tackle. We didn't have anybody listed here. I mean, here's a local kid. I just he's just too small. 
I mean, I can... 4-8-2. He looks like a good defensive end. He may be one I can try to move the defensive end. Maybe defensive tackles can move over okay. Let's try and see what happens. I've never really done it before. From what I remember, I just can't remember ever a defensive tackle doing well at defensive end. But we'll go ahead and try that. Let's just go ahead and put one on him. The rest of them, didn't see anybody there. Outside linebacker, Hall was one of them. This three-star kid. I want Yes, I don't mind going after him. Looks like he really wants to go to USC, though. But we'll go ahead and put some points on him. Middle linebacker, that didn't turn out whatsoever. We'd like to get this Scott kid. Corner, we did list... I put the guy's wrong name down wrong. Uh... Joe Meade was one of them? No, he's not one of them, so I don't know. Uh, corner's not a big need, so that's I'm not worried about that. All right, let's go to Darius Duckett. That wasn't a... Uh, I'm afraid to put a scholarship on him. I don't think we need it. Uh, this kid right here, we got to put a scholarship on him. Got no choice. Well, we, let's do playing time for him, see how he reacts to that. So he'll be our lone five-star we'll go after. So we got a lot of... We got 71 points to play with. Uh, let's go ahead and put scholarships on a couple of these athletes. Just in, It's worth the chance. you got to take a chance on these guys. You just never know. Another two-star kid. We'll try Coach Prestige again for this guy. Now let's go back to current targets, and let's fill out the rest of this stuff where we can. No, I'm okay there for now. Let's got to find the guys who were interested or who have a, a good pitch. Where are they at? There's one. We got him maxed out. I know we got a couple on here. We're going to do 30 on him. On this punter. And if that's the case, I don't, you know, I may be wasting my time going after that five-star kid, but we're going to do max for this athlete. We're going to do 30 for this kid since he's likes one of our pitches. We can't do it for him. And the rest of it, that is it. Just making sure I don't have anybody else committed elsewhere. Uh, who do we have a chance with? Like, this defensive tackle is just not important. Just not that big of a need. Outside linebacker. I'm trying to go after somebody who we may have a chance at. Like, this guard I would like to have. Let's put, like, eight points on him. This wide receiver I really like. Let's put, like, eight points on him. Quarterback, yes. Let's put a max eight points on him. Let me look at these. Uh, this tackle, we maxed out there. Another tackle, let's go ahead and put four points there. Another athlete, I don't mind putting extra on these guys. I'm down to three points, and it may be a struggle to get those three points somewhere. And if that's the case, you would just do what we've done the last week. All right, we couldn't find anywhere else to put those three points. Cross your fingers. We need some commitments in the worst way. We're already heading the week four. We don't have a single commitment. Recruiting hasn't gone very well for. I mean, we got three guys in the in the regular season. That was fine. We wanted to get a few more, but right now we need to get two or three guys to commit. If that's not going to happen, that this will be the worst I've ever seen it. I've never gone to week four without a commitment ever. I may have, and I just forgot. There we go. We picked up some guys. So we picked up that pace, uh, that punter. We got this guard. He'll probably start for us, but he's just a two-star. Two-star punter. At least we got a center. He's a body. And at least we got a body at tackle. So we got picked up a couple tackles. Uh, it's not the guys we want. So let's keep going. Uh, I still don't mind putting something on this guy. I think he's going to go to Florida. He likes our coach prestige, Bo McCrave. We need this kid. He'll start for us. Uh, Mike Harris, this is the kid I'm going to try to move the defensive end down the road. Julius Hall, let's do USC, Oregon, and Kansas. Let's just do location? Oh, let's do coaching style. That's usually a decent one to work with. I think this guy's going to go to USC. I, I, did we even move up for the kid? We didn't. We're just not going anywhere. I'm going to just take my scholarship off for him. I think we're wasting our time. Let's just do that. Uh, here's a guard. Yes. We're going to put at least 16 on him. 
Uh, wide receiver, I want this kid. We're moving up a little bit for him, so I think we can still have a chance. Let's do coaching style until we figure out what he likes. Quarterback, Jared Fuller. We're moving up. We just don't know what he likes. Let's do coaching style. We should get this tackle. I don't know what's taking him so long, but he just doesn't want to commit. Defensive end, uh, let's do the 16 for now. 16 for now. Uh, coaching style for this athlete. Take your chance on those kids. Middle linebacker, for whatever reason, he's not ready to commit. So who else? Athlete, Jonathan Hicks. We're going to remove him. And we're going to move this other athlete. They just decided to go elsewhere. I want to go back to interested prospects. And there he is. I told you. You don't just wait until week three. Sometimes you get to week four and look what happens. He's now interested. All of a sudden, we're at the top of his list. You have to wait. So that week four, you kind of have to go back and look. I even forget to do this at times. Not today. He will get a scholarship and then some. If we can somehow squeeze him in and get him to commit, that'd be great. We already picked up our punter, so I'm not going to go after this kid. Let's go back through these again. Uh, here's a halfback that all of a sudden got interested in me. Don't know why. Like he he's too slow and he can't he just can't do anything. Uh, let me go back and look at my list. Uh, Hall was the other one we're going after. Uh, tight end, we don't have to worry about tackles. We already got two committed and we're going after two, so I'm kind of done there. Guard, uh, we're going after Kemp. Silva was the other one, and Silva's not on this list anywhere. So I'm going to leave that as he is, and we already picked up one commitment. Here are, this is Joe Jones. Here's another kid. It took to week four for it to happen, but now he's interested. So hopefully all that makes sense. Just because week three, you don't see him on the list, doesn't mean he can't happen in week four. Now you look at the list here, looks like he's wanting to go to the Pac-10 somewhere, but we still have a chance there, I think. Brian McDaniel, uh, I don't think it was, yeah, he's got bad awareness. Defensive end, Butler, here's another one. There he is. This is, oh yeah, we took, never mind. This is the kid I just took my scholarship off of. I'm an idiot. Uh, defensive tackle, we're good there. Outside linebacker. Here is LaFew. Here's the other kid. He's a, he's a week four guy from week two that we went after. We're putting a scholarship on him. He's the kid that runs a 4 4 1. Would love to have him. Middle linebacker, Holly, another week two guy. We're going to put a scholarship on him. Let's just go coach prestige. That's the safest bet. Uh, Tolbert, here's another one. You got to wait. Oh. Incredible. If we could just get some of these guys to commit, that'd be great. Problem is, we got two weeks left. <laughs> We're running out of time. Corner, we don't have anybody there. Uh, everywhere else, Duckett went to UTEP. That's fine. We didn't need him. And that is it. So let's go back to current targets. And let's max out the guys who are really wanting to commit, but just can't for whatever reason. I know I have a couple of these guys. I'm only down 10 points, so we're kind of... I may not be able to do this. I've maxed out there. We're maxed out there. We're good there. Those 10 points are going to be hard to put on anybody, I'm afraid. At least on the guys we want to add more points to. So let's just go back up to the very top. I'm not going to put any more on this punter. I'd like to get him, but it's just not a big need right now. Mark Holly. Let's go ahead and put eight points on that cat. And let's put four points on this wide receiver. How about that? Now we're down to one point. I know I can't put those anywhere else. Unless I'm missing something. We can try. It'll have to be an in-state kid that goes from a one to a two. And I'm not seeing it anywhere. You just gotta... You just never know. That one extra point can make all the difference. And... And that is it. So, all right, that was a huge week for us, but we have to get some commitments. So, again, week two, guys, it may be up to week four before they decide to put you in their top five. So, just something to think about. Oh, my goodness. Man, if we can get a couple of those guys to commit, that'd be great. Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. And... 
the five-star punter committed. Huh. So now we got two punters on the roster. That's okay. That's fine. So Nate Harris, three-star kid out of Hawaii. Yes, 6'7", 3'12". He will start for us probably next season. Bo McCray, we picked him up. So we're good at the ends, at the tackle spots. And Lonnie Scott finally decided to commit. Good deal. So let's go back to current targets. And let's see who... Uh, Mark Holly went to Oregon. This center, Joe Jones, it was just too late. Outside linebacker, Julius Hall, Colorado. We're adding them to the schedule next year. TJ Parker is going to Washington. And that is it. So, let's go back to the very top. How many scholarships? I got five scholarships left. And we have... Uh, Let's do playing time, or let's do location for this kid for now. I'll, let's do max points for him. Middle linebacker, we'll do coaching style for now. These are all the kids that we definitely want, so we may not have enough room to add any extra guys, but we don't we don't have a lot of space on the roster anyways. Let's go back to coaching style for now. I don't know if we... He liked our coach prestige. I don't know if he liked that in the previous week. Uh, let's do location for this kid, I guess. Uh, quarterback, I'd love to have him, but he's just not budging at all. So I don't know. I don't know what he likes. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think we're going to end up getting him, but it's been fun trying to go after him anyways. He's got a great arm. He may not commit to anywhere. Defensive end. This is the kid, 6'5", 292. That's good to see there. Fritz, for whatever reason, he's been... Lacking our location pinch for four weeks, but he just doesn't want to commit anywhere. So we got a lot of points and a lot of scholarships left. Now what we can do is go back here and put a scholarship on somebody else. But there's nobody else worth going after. We're good at tackle. I don't need this defensive end. Corner, I didn't like him. Uh, 4-3-9, 6-2. I mean, that's... Why didn't I go after him before? Uh... Let's go ahead and put a scholarship on him. I'm all, that's fine. I don't need to... And then we're getting more two-star guys, and that's just not worth it. So defensive tackle, we didn't really need anybody there. So let's go back to current targets and spend the rest of our points on whoever we can get. Uh, let's go to the guys that we know that may commit. Let's take care of them first. For example, this kid right here, guard. We're down to 25 points. Uh, we can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Okay, so let's go back to the very top. Gonzalez. We've maxed out there. Middle linebacker, Travis Tolbert. How, local kid. I'm going to go ahead and put the max points on him. Uh, oh, uh, Lafue. This is the kid. Yes, I wouldn't mind putting uh, all my as many points as I can on that guy. Let's do coaching style. So we're down to four points. Middle linebacker. Defensive tackle, it's just, he's the kid we're going to move over, possibly. We've already maxed out points for that kid. Randall Hall, let's do location for him. We're down to three points. Here's where it's going to get kind of tough. I may not be able to put those points anywhere. We've maxed out everybody else. Yeah, I can't put those points anywhere else. So we are technically done. We got four scholarships left, which is fine. Again, we don't need that many bodies this go around, anyways. Let's advance to the next week, and that is it for recruiting. So, hopefully, we get a nice little batch of commitments here, and we'll round out the class. We'll look at all that. We're gonna, I'm gonna save it, and then we're gonna go to position changes, and that's where it gets even more fun. And I'd like to get a, that Fritz kid. I want to get an athlete, but he just don't want to commit, whatever reason. And I think we're going to get two or three right here at least. We get five. Four, he committed. The quarterback. He's a future starter. Look at that. A minus an A. He's not the tallest guy in the world. He's not big at all. But he's got the arm. Yes. Big time. Okay. Guard. Yes. We picked up a big guard. Excited about him. Lafue. This is a week two kid. He was a week four late bloomer in terms of being interested in us, putting us in his top five. There he is, Jim Fritz, the athlete. We'll see if he likes to, you know, what he can do. He'll probably play wide receiver. 
He's got A-minus hands, and as tall as he is, at least I hope he can play receiver. And we got that big Juco defensive end, Brandon Higgins. Awesome. All right, let's go to uh, view signings. We ended up, I don't know how many we ended up getting. Uh, right, we can count. 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ended up getting 16 total, so 13 in the offseason. We picked up the athlete, Jim Fritz, the quarterback. We locked, we talked about him. No halfback, unfortunately. I don't know what we're going to do about that. We'll figure it out. Nobody a wide receiver. Scott Gonzalez, I wonder where he ended up. I can go check that later. Tackle, we ended up getting a bunch of guys. At least we got bodies here now. I was starting to get worried <laughs> about that position, but we ended up getting four of them. I'm guessing two of these three guys will probably be going to start for us. We'll see. Two of the three-star guys. Uh, guard, we picked up some bodies here. Always get plenty of linemen if you can. We got a center. I don't know if he's going to be any camp, but at least we got him. A couple of defensive ends that fit what we want, both 290-pounders. This is the kid we picked up in the regular season, defensive tackle, so I'm happy with that. We get Tyler LaFue. This is the, I'm probably more excited about this kid than anybody else because he's super smart, and he's about the fastest outside linebacker I've ever recruited. Natural outside linebacker. We did get a middle linebacker. He'll be a red shirt guy. I'm sure he'll play for us somewhere down the line. And we picked up a couple punters. Number one punter in the country, 6'6", 213, Devin Jackson. And we picked up this kid as well. So I may convert one him to kicker. At least we'll have a backup kicker of some sort for the next two to three years. So let's go to the top classes. LSU, Iowa, look at Colorado. Look what they've done. They took away half of my commitments in the regular season. They took away at least a couple of those guys in the offseason. Ooh, mm, I'm going to... Going to beat them next year. At least we're going to play them. Don't know if we can beat them. We'll see. They had, looks like they had a pretty good season. So let's keep going and see where we're at. We finished 31st. We got a five-star, the punter. One four-star. That was the kid we got in the regular season. Seven three-stars, seven two-stars, and a partridge in a pear tree. All right, let's go. Uh, I do want to see state prospects. Let's see where Gonzalez ended up. He went to LSU. Uh, you kind of can't blame him. I really wanted the kid. But look at this. Guard. Colorado. Colorado. Oregon State. I'm not going to keep looking. I'm going to get upset. Okay. We're going to finalize recruiting. And then we got position changes. So before we get into that, I want to save it. I think it's in my best interest to do so. We're going to save it. Then we're going to get the position changes. We got one athlete. I do have uh, an defensive end Ingram. I'm going to try to move the linebacker. We'll see how that goes. That's the one positive about the run of the 3-4. You don't need a lot of defensive linemen. You need bodies there, but you don't need it like it compared to the 4-3. Uh, I don't want to go recruiting recap. I want to go to offseason schedule. Position changes. Okay. Quarterback. It's a heavy room. A lot of bodies. Fuller's a 74 overall, but look at his arm right here. 87 on the power, 87 on the accuracy. So he's already got the about the best uh, accurate arm of the bunch out of the gate. He will redshirt, though. We don't need him this year because we got Gronk coming back and such. So that's good to see. We're going to have to drop three guys. I don't know if you noticed that. We got 73 guys on the roster. We need to cut three. Halfback. I'm a little worried about this. I don't know what's going to happen here. Cox and Scruggs are going to be like what Kala was last season. They're slow, but they're big and strong. They're going to run up the gut, do halfback dives and such. So it may be okay. It's not going to be a big difference, except Cox just isn't as talented unless something happens with training. We'll see how that goes. Don't have to worry about fullback. Wide receiver, we did pick up, if I'm not mistaken. Do we pick up any wide receivers? I don't think we did, did we? We didn't. We didn't pick up one receiver. Okay, just making sure. Still a decent little receiving room, but we put a lot of points in the training. Hopefully, a lot of these guys will go up. Tight end doesn't matter. Tackle, we picked up a bunch of left tackles, so we need to move some guys over. Kind of have to decide who you want to move over. I will probably move... Uh, let's. Who's going to be my starters? Uh, there's a good chance that this guy will start next year. Because he is coming, you know, he's already on the roster, which means he'll get some training. These two guys will not. Uh, let's do left tackle here. 
and I can do right tackle for like this is like he looks like a future right tackle. Let's just do that for now. That's not a big deal, kind of how you do that. I kind of wish you could switch that up after training and such, but you can't. Guard, we did pick up. He's already our best guard out of the gate. Uh, we picked up this other freshman as well. So he's going to be our starting right guard. We tend to run to the right side more than the left a lot of times, it seems. So I don't mind that. Satelli, these one of these two guys will lift. Uh, okay, we'll just leave all that as is. I'm okay with all that. Center, a little worried about this. True freshman, he'll red shirt. Harmon will probably start for us next year just because his awareness is the best of the three. Uh, I'm not going to move a guard over. There's no point. So I'm okay with all that. But now you see what our weakness is going to be this year. Just offensive line. That's why I think we're probably not going to get 10 wins this year. It's going to be tough due to them. But we'll, we'll see what happens. Defensive end. Now, we did pick up a Juco kid. This kid right here, 72 overall. Super slow, but I don't need a whole lot of speed there. But I'm glad at least I got some size. So, uh, Totofi will be our starting left end. I'm okay with that. Ingram, it may end up being Higgins be my starting right end. This is true freshman here. I'm actually okay with every bit of that. Grievous, uh... Let's just leave all that is. That is uh, yeah, that's that's fine. The way all that's set up. Defensive tackle, we did pick up this kid right here, 72 overall, Sterling Scruggs. He'll probably red shirt. But at least we're getting a bunch of guys that are 300 pounds and more. Now, here's per sale. 63264. I wish I could move over the defense, man, but it drops big time, and it just isn't worth it. He could be, he's going to be an okay 4-3 defensive line, defensive tackle. But I did have, what's his, Ingram's his name? Where's he at? Oh, it's this kid right here. We was going to try to move to outside linebacker. Uh, let's try to move him. See, it's a, just a huge drop-off. Ah, that's not going to work. I'm just going to leave him there. He could be at my 4-3 defensive end. Let's do that. The problem when we're getting to this defensive end side of things is I'm getting a lot of slow guys here. It's harder to have 4-3 defensive ends and 3-4 defensive ends on the same roster. This is going to be tough. I'm going to just leave all that as is for now. Uh, linebacker. Tyler LeFew and Alan Jones. Uh, both of them. This guy will go up a little bit. We're going to put this guy right outside linebacker just in case. We're going to do that right there for Elamine. Elamimian, or however you want to say his name. We got a lot of outside linebackers on here, don't we? Just a ton. We're we'll probably... Take this guy off. I hate to do it, but you got no choice. I'm okay with all that right there. It's very possible a few may start for us next year. 87 speed. Think about that for a minute. So we'll have him there. Uh, middle linebacker. We got a ton of bodies. Um, I don't need anybody at outside linebacker. We're, I'm okay there. Some of these guys, like this kid may, right here may be gone. I don't have to move anybody here, though. But I just wanted to see. We picked up this kid right here. Lonnie Scott, 70 overall. He's got 80 speed. He'll red shirt. Uh, that's all we'll have to do there. Corner, we didn't even pick up a corner. We're fine here. We just need to hope training does well for a lot of these guys. Uh, somehow this guy came up all of a sudden. 72 for Adams is going to be a starter, one, of the, one way or the other. Free safety, we didn't have to do anything here. Same as strong safety. Oliver's going to be our starter. Now, free safety, Barry may end up being our starter next year just because look at his speed. Now, Miller done fine. He actually was in a first-team all-conference. I may end up starting him anyways. He's a senior. Yeah, he may end up getting started over Barry, but that's a good We got It's a good problem to have all right here. What you see. Uh, like one thing you can do if you wanted to, you can, like, 68 at outside linebacker for that kid. That's not bad if you needed the help, but we don't need help at outside linebacker. We're good. Uh, same as strong safety. We're in perfect situation here. Kicker, we're fine there. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I guess this is possible. I always thought 84 overall was the max you could have as a freshman. Apparently not. You can have an 88 overall punter, a true freshman. That's incredible. He could be a really good kicker, too, if you needed him there, but we don't need him because we're fine with Kelly. That's incredible. 
You move this punter, I can move him the kicker if I needed to, but we don't have to. So there you go. Don't know if you've ever seen it before, but now it's proof. You can have somebody that's better than 84 overall as a true freshman. Now, here's where things get interesting. Jim Fritz, 6'5", 161. Looks like he's going to be a wide receiver. 68, unless something happens on the other end. You just take a chance on some of these kids, and looks like he is far and away a, core, uh, a wide receiver. It's not even close. We're going to put him a wide receiver. He's not very fast, but he's tall. That's more than good enough, and he's got 76 catch. So he's an ideal wide receiver for us. So when you go back and look, uh, there's Fritz. We don't have to play him this year. We can redshirt him, and he can grow into the system, all that good stuff. That's a good situation for him to be in. So at least that worked out. At least we found a spot for him. Okay, I think that is it. I think we are ready to go to training. And this is where hopefully some guys, we put a ton of points into training. So this should work out for us. Several guys get six points. Some get four and such. So let's just look and see what we're dealing with here. Quarterback Richard Brown ended up going up six points up. Uh... This was the accurate kid that we picked up, you know, last offseason, if I'm not mistaken, a little two-star kid. Brennan went up four. What we can do to make it easier, let's go at the overalls. Gronk will still be our starter. Rolovich behind him, Brennan, Lewis, and Brown. It might have been Lewis who was the guy that, I think Joe Lewis was the one that had the good accurate arm. Either way, not a whole lot changed here. Running back, Brandon Scruggs. This is the freshman that we picked up. Now, all of a sudden, he's our best running back. 85 speed, he's not the fastest Larson is. He can catch a little bit, but Larson went up three on the catch. So I may end up, but see, he's just got 88 speed. That's still not super fast. So Scruggs, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. Scruggs and Cox, I don't know what to do here, to be honest. Scruggs and Cox will be Kala for next year, I guess, and we'll just leave it at that. I'll figure it out. Fullback, we don't care. Wide receiver, everybody just went up two. That's a little disappointing. Everybody went up at least. So we got a couple guys in the 80s. Ferguson will be an impact guy more than likely. Davis at 80, Washington, Rankley. So the big four are back next year. So our wide receiver core is going to be just as lethal. Our quarterback is back. Just our offensive line we got to worry about. Tight end, we don't care. One guy went up. He's up to a 62 overall. Left tackle, we had this guy went up to just two. Uh, guard, uh, Satelli will be our starting left guard more than likely. Center, we'll just have to play it by ear. I still think Harmon's going to be my starter just because of his awareness. Right guard, we had one guy went up a couple. Right tackle, all soon went up a couple, but I just don't think he'll be playing much. Defensive end, didn't I move that Ingram kid over to linebacker? No, I didn't. I think I changed my mind on that one. Uh, our starting defense left end didn't go up at all. Foster went up okay. Redshirt freshman. And uh, Joel, Joel White, another redshirt freshman, went up a little. Right in, Ingram went up. He actually went up in, in weight, too. He'll be our 4-3 defensive end. Defensive tackle, LaFelle, he's finally a senior. Uh, Purcell, 80-76. We're, we're kind of okay here, defensive end or defensive tackle. That's how this guy being kind of small. Linebacker, outside linebacker, 85. This kid is just was a stud for us last year. Elamine went to 74. I will still probably start the freshman, though. I hate to put that on. No, this guy's going to start. They're both outside line, left outside linebackers. Never mind. Middle linebacker, Jasmine and Doherty. I'm still going to have Doherty start, but we run a 3-4, so both of these guys will be on the field quite a bit. Uh, Allen Jones at 78. Good for him. That means I probably won't be starting that LaFue kid, which is fine. Alan Jones could be our starter. That may be, work, be a perfect situation for us. We'll check that out here in a minute. Corner, all that looks okay. Looks like this guy's going to be my starter at one end, and I'm going to have John, uh, Adams as my other starter. This was the kid that had that really good game, what, two games back? Then he got hurt. Uh, free safety, I'll probably, I'll probably still start Miller because he's got better awareness, and his speed is just one less than Barry. But Peoples, yeah, Peoples is 76. I can't do that. Uh, on the speed. Strong safety. We all know who's going to start there. That's pretty obvious. 
Kicker, yay, and we had two true freshman punters. So that is it. Let's go ahead and the cut players. And we got to cut three guys. Who are we going to cut? I could probably, it's honestly, I hate to cut a quarterback. You just never know. I just got a bunch of young guys right here. I'm really excited about the Fuller kid. I think he's going to be a starter for us here in about two seasons. Uh, halfback, we can't cut anybody there, that's for sure. We can't get, don't want to cut any wide receivers. Brett's ended up being, like this kid right here, I may be able to cut him. Uh, let's keep going. I can't, I can't, we've got a lot of tackles, but we got, we're going to redshirt a couple of them anyways. Uh, this is going to be kind of tough. Defensive end, we could probably cut. I can't cut a redshirt freshman. I just don't want to do it. And I hate to cut something like this kid right here, but I don't mind doing it. To be honest, he's a 70 overall, but he's a senior. Let me just keep looking really quick. This kid will cut. I hate to do it, but he's a 59 overall. Um, Redshirt Junior, 74 speed. I don't mind cutting him as well. We just got a lot of outside linebackers, so let's just cut him. We're down to one more. We got a lot of middle linebackers. I'll probably cut this kid right here. We just do not need that many middle linebackers. So let's do that. And there you go. Uh, let's go to the depth chart. And we're not going to do anything with the depth chart. We'll do that in the preseason video which, again, it may not be for a while because I guess I'll probably go back to the MTSU Dynasty for a season, then we'll come back to this one. Unless everybody just doesn't want me to do that. We, we can play that by ear. And we're going to look at the roster again. We'll look at the jersey numbers for the new uh, incoming class, and we'll just kind of go from there, then I'll let you go. I'm curious, well, we'll look at the preseason stuff again in the preseason video. I'm not going to waste your time on that one today. But I do want to check out jersey numbers and stuff. So we'll go back to the roster. So it comes down to, the, it, can our offensive line just survive this season? That's our only weakness, honestly, on the roster. We're going to do that. I'm going to just leave that one as this. We'll make all of our adjustments in the preseason video there. Okay, let's go straight to the roster and see what we're dealing with here. So, Jared Fuller's number 14. Like I said, I think he'll start for us down the road unless we pick up somebody even better between now and then. Uh, we didn't pick up anybody there. Wide receiver, we didn't get anybody there. Tackle, we picked up a bunch of guys. I mean, but nobody really cares about offensive lineman numbers. But there they all are. Everybody's pretty much in the 70s and such. Guard, uh... Same here. It just doesn't really matter. Center doesn't really matter. Defensive end, I wanted to check out... What was his name? Uh, Brandon Higgins. Number 90. I may end up British shirting him. As you can kind of tell, he's just not very high on the depth chart. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and uh, what was the other one? Grievous. 97 for him. We'll definitely redshirt him. As you can tell, he won't be beneficial to us this year. Defensive tackle, we did pick up. Sterling Scruggs, he's 91. Oh, Fritz, I completely forgot. Let's go back to Fritz, a wide receiver. 88, that's a good number for wide receiver. So let's go back to outside linebacker. Looks like uh, this guy's an impact guy. He'll definitely be on the field a ton. Uh, Tyler DeFue is 59. I think that was the only one we picked up on the outside linebacker. I didn't even look at the impact guy on offense. I can, I'll go back. Middle linebacker, we picked up this kid right here, Lonnie Scott, a 47. Corner, we didn't pick up anybody here, there, that, or the other. Uh, and we still got a, dang it, impact guy kicker. Hopefully that'll change sometime during the season. I mean, that's, you'd rather have that on a, on a halfback or receiver, quarterback, somebody. Punter, 46, Devin Jackson, apparently the greatest high school punter to ever live. I don't know. And 40 for Justin Pace. So I do want to go back here and who is our impact guy on offense and it's probably the kicker we don't have one guy isn't that terrible look at that no impact guys on offense not a single one the one lone technical offensive impact guy is this kid right here so we only got two impact guys on the entire roster and we got to get that fixed somehow 
it's just got to be good play from somebody. All right, that is it. Hopefully you enjoyed all that. Again, the next video, unless somebody really shouts out, hey, let's just stick with this dynasty. I can do that. That's fine. But more than likely, I'll go back to the MTSU dynasty and we'll do a season of ad. Then we'll just go back and forth and go from there. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later.